Hello there and welcome to another DIY video. Ha! <laughs> or is it a how not to DIY video? I don't know. This project went a lot better than my previous two, so if you've watched the last two DIY videos I made, don't worry, this one went a lot better. I have older DIY videos that went well as well, it's just the previous two were very experimental and I had a lot of learning to do, so they went a bit... They took some twists and turns, but this one was way more in my comfort zone. So, the patient we're working on today is this black velvet metamorphosed tail coat. Metamorphose is a Japanese alternative fashion brand. Um, their velvet stuff is my absolute favourite clothing in the world, honestly. And this tail coat was... It was second hand. I bought it second hand through Wonderwelt, who are a second hand Japanese clothing shop. And it was very cheap because it was so beaten up essentially. It had no buttons, one of the pockets was a hole right through. It's it's very old anyway. Some of the trim is fraying a bit. It was just... it was just in really bad shape, honestly. And I actually didn't intend to alter it when I bought it. I bought it a couple of years ago and I wore it as a black tail coat, but then recently I decided that I was going to alter it, or I was going to dye it specifically, because I have I have a lot of plain black coats. I have a plain black tail coat. I have plain black velvet coats. I wanted something a little different. And my initial plan was to dip dye it. I was going to just dip dye it in bleach, or dip it in bleach rather, and then dye it so that the dipped part would be dyed, right? And I was going to do that in either red or green. But then I was working on that camel print jacket from my other video and it was going to be green. So I decided that this tail coat should definitely be red so that I would have red and green because I just want to keep it interesting and do something different, you know? The plan was simple. Bleach it, dye it red. So I laid it out and I sponged on the bleach and then it bleached up to grey, which was honestly really surprising because Usually black clothes, when you bleach them, they go up to brown, and then orange, and then yellow. The same with hair. I was expecting yellow, is the point. But it turned grey. And at this point I kind of had a crisis about it, because I realised I could sponge the bleach on all over it, and have a grey and white cloud effect tail coat, and I could take off the trim and replace it with silver trim, because right now it had gold trim. It started out with gold, I could replace that with silver, I could make it cloudy. It was just... that idea really grabbed me because I wear a lot of light colours and white. I like to wear all white quite often. I realise like I'm wearing a red thing today and a lot of my background is black and white and red and whatnot. But, truth be told, I wear all white quite often. So, the idea of this white and grey tail coat was just, it just grabbed me completely. But the catch with it is I would have had to sew on a whole extra trim. And I was already going to have to sew on buttons, and I hate sewing on buttons. And I hate sewing in general, so I didn't want to sew on a different trim. Also, I really like the idea of it being a gradient, like a dip dye effect. And I would lose that completely if I made it all grey. I went back to the dip dye idea. And I stuck with red. And I just, I did it exactly the way I have done so many items. I used to bleach and dye loads and loads of stuff and sell them on Etsy. Um, I did a lot for person for my own personal wear as well. I would take just black clothes and then either kind of tie 
them in bleach or just splatter the bleach across it and then dye them red to get a kind of blood splatter effect and that was really fun. I, I, I could do that again. I actually still have and still wear some socks that I dip dyed red and some jeans that I gave the blood splatter effect to. So I think the first time I tried to dye it I used Dylon hand dye. Um, I used the Dylon tulip red and it didn't take to the fabric at all. Just not at all. There's a few reasons that that might have happened. Um, some natural fi fibres need to be boiled to take dye, like wool in particular needs to be boiled I think. So it could just be that the coat needed to be in hot water. It could be that it's synthetic fabric and most synthetic fibres won't dye unless you've got a synthetic fibre dye. Also, it's also very likely that I just over diluted it and I used too much water in the mixture because even though all the instructions are on the packet, I'm just not very good with numbers. So I think I did over dilute it a lot. But the point is, the first time I dyed it, it didn't take whatsoever and it was just... It was disappointing and I was going to have to do it again. Fortunately, I remembered I had this leftover bottle of Rit dye under the sink. If you've watched my video about the dip dye dress that I worked on, you will remember the legendary bottle of Rit dye. <laughs> this is the bottle of dye that I actually did use for all the stuff I did back in the day for Etsy and for my own wear. And there was a little bit of dye left in the bottom. Enough to dip dye a dress and a tailcoat. But the catch with Rit dye is you ha you do have to boil it. You do. It's synthetic dye. You have to boil it. <sighs> so I really thought I was going to get away with not having to boil this project, but not to, it was not to be. So I got up on the little step ladder by the cooker, I had the coat over my shoulder, and I dipped the ends of the tails in the red boiling dye, and it worked like a charm. <laughs> it was amazing. It came out so bright and so red so quickly. Let me show you. As you can see, it's not completely symmetrical. I didn't dip dye it straight on, I did it at an angle so that it's um, a little higher on one side and I only did one sleeve. I will insert some pictures and clips of the results of this. I am so glad I didn't need to take the trim off of it and sew any back on because the next step of this process was to sew on the buttons <laughs> and I hate, I hate sewing buttons I really really do <laughs> I went and I got some gold buttons these little gold rose shaped buttons and I put those in the place of where I assume buttons were in the past you know some on the front and then some on the belt loops at the back and that's it job done. This one was so so drama free compared to the last two DIY videos and the result is something that I'm going to wear a lot. Like I can see myself wearing this coat regularly and casually honestly. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Do you think I should have gone with green? Do you think I should have gone with the cloud pattern? Or do you think I made the right choice with the red? Let me know in a comment and don't forget to subscribe because I have another DIY video coming up soon and I will have more in the future. There's one more project that is complete that I will have a video on in a couple of weeks I think. Maybe sooner. Maybe sooner. And then there's a couple of other projects that are either aren't finished yet or I haven't even started yet but I will make videos of those in the future. So that will be in maybe a couple months time or so. So if you like this kind of video, subscribe, 
to get notifications about those. I've also been getting to grips with live streaming, so hopefully by the time this video goes up I will have tested out all the different platforms to see what I like and what works for me. I will probably do some art-based live streaming on Twitch and maybe do other stuff here because I know that you guys watching me here prefer my um, makeup and fashion based videos rather than the art stuff but you know art is what I do so <laughs> I'm still gonna do some of that I think that's everything so thank you for being here thank you for watching take care wash your hands Bye.